so we're going to kind of walk through a little bit of the view and what you'll see when you're working within CRM plus just to highlight kind of how you get around and how you would interact with the system. So first, I'm going to go through and kind of just show the settings that are specific to this. Uh, we do want to highlight on this. We're not going to dig into all of the various settings within each of the applications or we'd be here for, you know, many hours. So with all these other applications, CRM, desk, projects, campaigns, we have separate webinars that actually dig into them in detail. All of those, again, would be on our YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash Zanata. Um, so today we're just really going to focus on what CRM Plus looks like and how you get around within those admin settings. So right out of the gate, when you open up CRM Plus, the first thing you're going to want to notice is over on the left-hand side, you actually have a navigation bar that will get you to any of the various applications. Um, so a little bit different than with, uh, you know, standalone Zoho apps. With Zoho One now, they have all the way in the top left, the little box you can click on to kind of move from application to application. Uh, but here in CRM Plus, they kind of build it just all into this sidebar here. Um, so you're able to quickly get from CRM to sales IQ to desk and so on and so forth. Um, to actually get into some of the additional things here, down the bottom left, we have our recent items. Um, this is actually something that is unique only to CRM Plus uh, in that inside of our recent items, it'll actually show us things related to any of the applications. So here we're sitting inside of an account called Active Plumbing. We see that we have that CRM account in one of our recent items, but also in those recent items is a desk ticket that we just looked at. So that doesn't really exist anywhere else. Uh, even within Zoho One, any of your recent items are going to be application specific. Now, I would assume if you're watching this recording in the future, that might not be true now. I, they're going to add that eventually to navigate to recent items across all of Zoho One. Um, but just as it stands right now, this is kind of a little bit of a unique feature inside of CRM Plus. And, current, and Zoho One has in beta right now, basically a similar feature where you have the menu bar running down the left-hand side here. Um, they don't have this feature in that right now if you're trying out the beta version of it. Um, and of course, with 50 applications, you kind of get to pick and choose what you're putting on the side over there. But uh, we they currently don't have it. But this is, like you say, a really cool feature, as is yep. the next one. So the next one here is your favorites. Um, this one super useful for navigating quickly from application to application. So an example would be, you know, you might have a dashboard inside of the CRM. And so to get there from desk, you'd have to click CRM, then dashboards, then click on that specific dashboard. But if you know you're going there all the time, you can go ahead and just add it as a favorite here in the bottom left and get there quickly. So in this case, you know, we've favorited one of those accounts. Maybe we wanna favorite this ticket to just keep it top of mind until it gets closed out. Um, so you're able to just do that by on any of these pages, clicking that plus in the top right, and it'll go ahead and open up the ability to add that item to your favorites list. And so now we have our ticket here within desk. As you'd expect, they're gonna group that by the application that it's from. Um, so we've got a favorite there from the CRM and then a favorite from desk in their own little lists within that window. So now we're gonna jump into how to get around in the settings for the CRM Plus package. Um, as is the case with more and more Zoho applications, I don't wanna say all, I'm sure there are a couple little stragglers, um, but in the top right, you're gonna have that cog up in there under the little red box. So if we open up that cog, we're gonna notice a couple things that'll change. Um, so when we open that up, We'll go to a page here where across the top of the page, we have all of the different settings now for these different applications. So before when we're in the CRM, that top bar is showing our leads, our contacts and our accounts. So those are actually the workspaces in the CRM. Whereas when we jump here, now we're looking at the setup page for the CRM and we can navigate to the setup pages of any of those other applications just by clicking across the top bar. So if we start here in the CRM, we can click over onto desk and now we're looking at the settings for desk. Um, so kind of a little way, little quicker way to get around if you want to set up, you know, maybe you have a workflow that needs to go between a couple different modules. You can just pull up the general settings and get around really quickly to configure everything that you need. Now in this, we're going to dig a little more into the CRM admin panels, because again, we've kind of done webinars that will walk you through the settings for any of those other applications. Um, so the couple things that you're going to want to set up when you first get started with CRM Plus is, of course, going to be your organization info. 
So you're going to want to set up the company name, your website, your phone numbers, you know, any address information, if you'd like to store that within Zoho. To do that up in the top right, we can just open up that edit button and make any of those changes that we need. That just kind of pulls up a little form that you can use to enter that information. Next, we can go ahead and look at kind of a top down of any of our applications. So we can see which ones do we have turned on because you don't have to have them turned on for every single user. Um, so here we're basically looking at the applications, how many users we've got active in each of those. Um, and from there, you know, you can click in and see those users themselves. Lastly, and I'm skipping users here because we're actually going to circle back to that. Brett's going to show you how to add users because there's a couple little particulars that you'll want to be aware of as you're actually going through and setting up a new user. Um, but of course, under the subscription tab, you can see, you know, how many seats do you have purchased? How many do you have remaining, right? So if you're going to onboard five or six people, you might pull this up and see, okay, I've actually got two extra seats. So I only need to upgrade a handful more uh, to get all of them added. Let's you know your billing cycle, how many users you've got, you know where your storage limits are. It's actually a really nice page. Um, normally, you'd have to dig into each of these applications and find the different sub menus where all of this lives. Um, so if you are kind love, of an administrator, I would love this in Zoho One, <laughs> yeah, Tyler. <laughs> so it'd be great in Zoho One. Um, it really would. But it gives you just a top down so that you can see, you know, hey, I've got. I know we're going to import this list of you know 750 contacts. I want to make sure I can pull all of them into campaigns, so I can just jump in here and in one page know, okay, I've got plenty of storage in the CRM to run that import, and then I've got you know more uh, contacts available in campaigns than I need, so I'm good to go. I don't need to make any extra purchases here. And so with that, I'll hand it over to Brett. Um, we're going to go through this next section, you know, relatively quickly. We want to just show what it's like to add a user because each of the different applications will ask you sometimes for different things, you know, the profile, the role, the department that they need to be in. So we want to just walk through that for you so that if you're setting this up later, you've got a nice little reference. Yeah, slightly different than all of the others. So it's completely different. If you're adding this on an individual app basis, this is completely different. And this is completely different than Zoho One as well. There's kind of a whole different methodology here. Um, it's just a different layout, a different UI in, in getting things. So all you're gonna do is click on add a user, and then you're gonna go ahead and put in the user's name up here. And then you're gonna go from application to application. You'll select it, you'll do your roles and you'll do your profiles and on sales IQ, you'll set it up. By the way, you do need to check the departments on these. Um, so make sure that you, uh, you make sure all the departments are checked as you go through. Um, under desk, again, you'll set up what are they, are an agent, an admin, a line agent, custom, what, what do they have access to? And you'll again have to select all of the departments. Um, under projects, again, you're gonna set up the roles and you're gonna set up each one of these. And if you don't check it, you're not adding a person to this. So if you're basically putting someone in here and you just wanna say, great, they only have access to three applications, you can do that. And whatever you set them up with is what they're gonna have access to. Um, so you see the same on campaigns, you'll choose your roles. Again, choose everything under social, give them their user role, select all the brands that they're allowed to go through and choose as well. Um, under survey, it's, you're going to have to choose the account that they have access to. Again, give them that. And then under analytics, you're going to choose what they are. And if you're going to make them, you want to make them a workspace admin so that they can have those kind of administrative privileges in the workspaces. And again, you're going to want to select all of that. And once that's done, the user is added and they will get a nice little email telling them that they have been added and to accept the various applications and that is pretty much all there is. There is one thing I do want to point out that's important. Up in the URL bar up top, you'll notice it says crmplus.zoho.com. And what we find often is if people are on other versions and they switch to this, this is the only one that has that rather unique URL. Um, if you're a larger company, we see this where oftentimes they'll downgrade because uh, maybe they decide they just want a couple apps but people have this saved. And every time they go to it, it's gonna ask them if they wanna upgrade. <laughs> um, and if they move to Zoho One and they do this CRM plus, it's gonna ask them if they wanna upgrade. Not sure it's an upgrade at that point in time, um, but you can end up with people switching. So if you're switching from one to the other, you need to tell everybody in the company, just delete all your bookmarks and start over because there's a whole new set. It's really just one set of bookmark, one bookmark they need now, crmplus.zoho.com.
www.thepowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpow